What's up guys, Blade Master here with Maximus Decimus Meridius. We are Hello. going to be commentating on game two between uh, jo Johannes, Johannes Von Bonn and uh, G Brothers P. Again, it's in fucking Alexandria, god damn it. This give is... us back Nemo to Sana, please. Yeah, <laughs> give us back <laughs> dank names. Well, I think, I think uh, considering the matchups, this is going to be a shorter game. There are... Po uh, Carthage can somewhat contend with the Swords of Rome. Um... It's a great matchup. Carthage versus uh, Carthage versus Rome is one of my favorite matchups. Yeah, yeah. It's even like historically speaking, yep. And even yep. like gameplay wise, it's it's a very fun yeah gameplay wise. Yeah. I mean, because the Carthaginian infantry can't just charge into the Roman infantry and expect to come out on top. Carthage has to play better than Rome and significantly so. Yeah, true. Uh, so yeah, like we just said, Rome versus Carthage. Uh, Johannes. Uh, has the uh, well the roles are reversed now Johannes had uh, faction and map choice first decided to pick Alexandria with Rome which is a very smart choice and I guess he just wants to seal the deal finish off the tournament or this round early uh, by picking a very strong faction and unfortunately the uh, G brothers did not go for Rome's nemesis which would have guaranteed him a victory <laughs> which is Pontus <laughs> instead he decided to go with Carthage so uh, with uh, Rome, what would you have? Uh, well, no. If you're in G Brothers' uh, position, what would you have banned? If I uh, if I'm going to ban for Carthage. Oh no! If or, you were going to ban Rome, like two units from Rome's roster. Uh, on this, I mean, I I don't think I would have even touched the swords because oh, too many. This is yeah. this might happen very quickly. Here. Uh, okay, the Syrians and Balearics, because I want my elephant to shine. True. Okay, and uh, if you were Rome. If I'm Rome, I'm going to be banning both elephants, I think. Very smart. He did ban both elephants, and G Brothers decided to unban one of the elephants, and he yep. did not ban anything from Rome. And here we have it already. Late Carthaginian Hopetes into Evocati cohort. Still he not in... He just wants to tie down the Roman units here and send in his elephants, I think. But look at the massive blobbing here. Sending in Carthaginian calves, yeah. sending in, I mean, mercenary Samnites, and... Libyan infantry against Vigilates of all things. Very even, and the elephant is way too far away. Uh, and the yeah. late Carthaginian are not in Hoplite Phalanx. Uh, Libyan infantry being brought and a mix of Libyan and Samnites. Very Samnoids. poor, very poor engagement for Carthage beginning yeah. here. The mercenary Samnites getting charged by Evocati cohort while they had attack orders on. on and the Samnites uh, are in. Uh, they are in Hoplite. They are in uh, formation attack. So again, it's going to be. Weird yeah. little engagement for them. A Libyan infantry just smashing into Vigilace. And this is, of course, what the Vigilace are there for. Yeah. Block the charge, then they have a call to come in to seal the deal, basically. But Mercy and Iberian it, swordsmen firing into the right units. They're firing into the Avocati on the flank. They're going to do some damage there. Uh, yeah. Look at the Not weird... Much, oh, my God. The weird engagement here. This this one, like... Oh, that's the Vigilace in square formation. Okay. But look at the look at the general's bodyguard of Carthage chasing <laughs> balls the, out. The <laughs> his getting trapped by the Roman. G, G brothers just pulled down his pants, whipped <laughs> his balls out, and he's like, "Fuck this! I'm going to charge every <laughs> single unit." <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this could have worked. Have the elephants come in here? Yeah, he just needed time. He, ne he needed to time it better. Yeah, this yeah. like because it's very easy to just say what this battle is going to end up in because the if the timing is wrong with your with your elephant rush. It's just incredibly tough to pull. To yeah, Carthaginian cavalry dying, Carthage losing here. Carthage is losing every single engagement here. They're yeah. killing some vigilates, but who cares about vigilates? Exactly. And now the elephants are running amok. Honestly, that's JBB. JBB is doing us doing him a favor by put it, ma making the elephants run amok. He should just be using heavy shot on them. Yeah, I agree. Just kill the elephants at this exactly. point. Exactly. Flaming, but the Carthaginian cavalry is breaking. But the elephants, they would have been dead by heavy exactly. shot. Exactly. Right it's, and finally, the Carthaginian have hit the auxiliary Syrian arches in the rear. Um, Samnites, uh, to their credit, though, Samnites will hold out for a long time, so yeah. he still has time to pull it off with his elephants if he if he wants to uh, get back in the. In yeah, the fight. if he regains control and is able to roll off the line like this, yeah. sure. But one precursor volley and those elephants are gone once again. True. He has late Carthaginian hoplites. He should be at the very least either charging into these uh, auxiliary cavalry or something. Yeah. Pushing through, not go for the uh, for the auxiliary cavalry here. But yeah, it looks like he's going to do the right thing and just try to blob up as many Roman units as possible. Yeah. It's a bit late, but it looks like the Carthaginian center will be able to hold for some time at least. The mercenary Iberians will do a decent job as long as they don't get charged. 
he needs to push the Iberians through some of these gaps and try and chase off the auxiliary Syrians because yeah. I would sacrifice everything for my elephant to get a proper charge onto the rear. There's just now no the elephants way. are free, so yeah. rolling up the line could happen. But this Avocatic Horde is free, it's going to be able to throw precursors if the elephants... And this, well, this Legionaries is wavering at 100... Oh, that's because of the fear. Definitely because of the fear. Fear yeah. and attacked in the rear for some yeah. reason. And so, Sam Knight's attacked in the rear. Epi elephant charge up the center here. If the late Gothic Union Hopetes are able to get into Auxiliary Syrians, this could end very badly for Rome. Yeah. And sending in this Avocati against the Iberian Swords, huge mistake. Precursors needed against this African war elephant. No, but don't yeah, put your, to start running don't make them run amok. That's only going to the shit out of them. Yeah, they just <laughs> <laughs> they're only going to run into your own infantry. There we are. Still breaking some of that quality, but look at all the Roman units free here. I mean, this yeah. is if this isn't over, then I'd be very surprised. Yeah, this this game is over. Two, so 97, 83. 151, way too many legionaries and avocados. Yeah. Like, even if they don't, didn't throw their pila, like, they, they could probably just tank out this. <laughs> this Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Especially on a forest map. Yeah. The elephant on the forest, the elephant is the one thing that can turn the tide for, for Carthage against Roman. On this map, and when they were, if the elephants had followed, followed the first assault, I, could, I think... Carthage could have had a chance here. Yeah. But going wide with elephants. He he made in. he made a critical mistake in that he didn't try and get the engagement to happen in the in the uh, open ground in the middle. Yeah. He just decided to rush way too quickly and uh, yeah, I mean he he rushed so quickly that he didn't even wait for his elephants to get into a proper position. And I think if you want to bring elephants, you need just need your infantry to hold. You need sturdier infantry, and I don't see the Iberian swords having a place in that. Mm, yeah, that, that is one case where mercenary Gallics could be a better choice, or even just Libyan Samnites. The Sam, yeah, Samnites are very good at holding out. Uh, yeah, maybe less money spent on the Carthaginian Hoplites, like yeah. li late Libyan Libyans, Hoplites. Yeah, yeah, in Hoplite Phalanx. The problem is he didn't even use them in Hoplite Phalanx, which is a big problem. Ooh, yeah. Pila, no Pila, no Pila yet. They're going to crush the first Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah. Some of them are dying because the the elephants were spread out. There comes a Pila. But because the elephants were spread out, there's no way of knowing where the center of the unit is. So right. They'll just fire into empty ground. Yeah. Oh, and they're moving back, hitting their own Carthaginian hoplites. <laughs> That's the wrong way. Yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> they so, are getting kills now, but too late, too late. Yeah. <clears throat> Almost a double experience, Chevron, but again, yeah. It's the timing yeah. that matters. And... Ooh, yeah, late Carthaginian double experience. Really. Uh, yeah, I mean this this game is it was a pretty pretty decisive victory by by JBB. Yeah, very decisive. And it just goes to show why like Rome is such a powerhouse. <laughs> yeah. And it also shows well, why I, you shouldn't charge why you shouldn't charge too early. <laughs> just yeah. wait, patience. And why you should match up the right units against the right units because. Late Carthaginians against Vigilace, that is fine. Libyan infantry against Libya uh, against Vigilace, not, fine, not yeah. what you want to do. Yeah. Some noble fighters could have actually no. Noble too fighters expensive. Been, yeah, too expensive. That's the problem. And they died to missiles. So In, is this, look at all these Roman units left. Just yeah. They're just chasing. <laughs> they're just chasing them. Wow. <laughs> Ouch. Like two hundred <laughs> javelins to the face, like to kill that last yeah. one. Poor thing. Uh, let's fast if forward. You want, if you want to make the if you want to make the elephants work, you have to make a really focused army. And um, let's see here. If yeah, I mean these late Carthaginian hoplites waste of points. Yeah. Uh, the mercenary Iberians, in my opinion, waste of points, and he only brings he only brings six units that are able to hold for some time, whereas the Romans have the, of course six avocati. What um, I, I what I like to do with uh, with the Carthage Elephant Rush, uh, I've tried you know a couple of them. One that really works for me is bringing uh, like six Carth um, what's it called uh, Carthaginian cavalry, and yep. then do the you know the usual MLG tactic of charging in and pulling back, and then letting your yep. uh, Sam Knights charge in. So on the one hand they'll they'll hold out because they're Sam Knights, and on the other hand they can actually do pretty decently because the charge has been removed for the enemy unit. 
and then yeah. you know you just you have so many cavalry units that can just hold up they can do that crucial role of just charging in and holding out enemy infantry so that they stop their pila and then your elephant will be free to free to charge in something i would have liked to see from Carthage if if Carthage was going to rely on the elephant rush bring the african war elephant general uh, make him a warrior war cry intimidate yeah then bring six Carthaginian cavalry, four late Libyan hoplites, six Libyan infantry, and two mercenary Gallics. Let me see. Late, six, six Carthaginian hoplites. Six late Libyan hoplites. Uh, four late Libyan hoplites. Okay. Six Libyan infantry, two mercenary Gallics, and then six Carthaginian cavalry. The late Libyan hoplites, spaghetti up front, tie mm -hmm. down everything. Uh, late, uh, Libyan infantry come in as the second line, mercenary Gallic support cavalry on the flanks yep. against the Carthaginian cavalry, and then the elephants just go where the blob is biggest. Yeah, it's it's the one army where you need a lot of maneuverability, which, which you get with cavalry. Yeah, because the Roman the Roman, uh, the Roman Roman army didn't have a lot of cavalry, it had the Abacotti. The Abacotti just need to be held down by Libyan infantry and shield wall until yep. the elephants and or cavalry can do their thing. Yep. And having six Carthaginian cavalry it allows you to tie down. Uh, you, you've seen Armenian king do this very well. Mm -hmm. uh, tie down everything and then send them. Well, what what have we seen Armenian king not do well? <laughs> that's a better yeah, question. That's true. That's true. <laughs> he's he's been very consistent. He even beat Pama warrior. I'm not uh, surprised. In a very I'm not controversial. <laughs> very controversial. Uh, any uh, any game involving Panda Warrior is go is bound to be controversial. There's going to be some controversy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. <laughs> and, and that 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 I mean, when you have these high tier players that play with quite a bit of ego, yeah, uh, they put a lot of effort into winning. Sure, they're going to complain on pull throughs and stuff like that. Even though some pull throughs are down to game mechanics and not exploits, at exactly. least in my opinion. <clears throat> But it can be hard in the heat of battle to tell the difference between between the two. Yeah, I just I just don't can't take uh, like Total War Rome two and uh, Attila as proper competitive games. They're just widely yes. unbalanced, so it's yes. just, there's no point. Yeah, it's like I mean, if if you never have a game of Dota ending because someone claims someone did something illegal. Right. or Starcraft ending because someone did an exploit. Everything you can do on the battlefield is legal because there are no real exploits. But, I mean, of course, Total War games are much, much more complex. <laughs> it's just a minefield of exploits. From, yeah, absolutely. From Tagmada spam to pull-through to... There was there was <laughs> infantry pull-through as well at one point, which is which is like oh, a yeah. big deal. Like sometime during the blue tournament, there, there was infantry yeah. pull-through. Yeah, it, it can be... The infantry pull-through can be real. Yeah. yeah. A, a lot of it comes down to a lack of good collision models. To exactly. Moss being, uh, yeah, Moss not really being implemented properly. All right, so that's the end of uh, the first uh, matchup of round two. Hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, stay tuned for more. Thank you, Max, for co-commentating. Co and uh, likewise, peace. <laughs>